Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a uh, little, uh, it's a little box, and it has a battery. <laughs> uh, you can charge it by uh, mini USB. It's not USB C. It is mini USB, and it is a voltage reference. Uh, like I have for my uh, GPS, my 10 MHz uh, GPS DO to have a proper reference uh, for your frequency standard, this is a voltage standard. And it is based on the AD584-M and uh, that seemed to be a very precise chip. Uh, I think it was around 13 euros including the shipping to my door which is very cheap, so I doubted a little bit if it was uh, a good or not. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, they even put a calibration sticker sheet and, and they did the calibration with uh, HP Agilent 34401A wow. and it does have a lot of digits because if you look at the 2.5 volts it's actually 2.49897 so these numbers uh, should be the same on my meters uh, so that's a good thing to check my meters but also if it's really really a lot off then then this is probably fake but uh, i've seen on several blogs that uh, that, that these are precise, so uh, let's uh, see. To uh, do proper measurements you need to have your device uh, switched on for a while um, because also the, the meters need to stabilize themselves and, and not everyone knows this. Even this uh, mobile device, is these, these handy ones, usually they are switched on and used immediately. Uh, but yeah, the, the correct use would be that you really switch it on for a while and if it runs on batteries maybe you only want to don't want to switch it on too long but, but really 10 to 15 minutes is really advised if you do precise uh, measurements um, but that uh, aside um, this is the box uh, here are the reference uh, voltages and here you charge with the mini USB and well I just test the minus and the plus and here is a little button and you have one two three four LEDs so if I push long push you switch it on and it goes to 2.5 volts push again 5 7.5 and 10 volts and if you want to you can just rotate that and if you want, like to switch it off you switch it off I did already charge the battery so that should be good uh, so here we go let's see the first meter mm. put in the con Uh, well, as you can see it the connections are really they really look at, lock in well so that is a good thing because it really needs to make good contact and this should be the 2.5 volts and uh, well this meter doesn't say 2.5 volts so uh, is that a problem of the meter or what does it say here it says here it should say 2.49 eight nine seven so that means uh, 2.499 and that's what it does so i would say my meter is good this is five volts and if i look here in the table again this is 5.00010 so yeah the meter is correct can be 7.51 and this is 7.50005 this so this should actually be 750 and it isn't so 10 volts and it says here 10.0007 it's a little bit off but it's uh, handy so that's not too bad what we have here also a little bit the 
2.5 is too much because it says 2.5 of 4, well it should say like 2.499 and 5 volts is also too much. So this meter is less good according to my standard. So let's see what uh, the O1 says. Go back to two and a half volts. And this is 2.4990 and this one says 2.49897 I think. So I would say close enough. Five. Yeah, this is a lot better. And the Owen is new, I think it's like three months old, so it's nice to see that it's uh, that it is uh, more or less well calibrated. And this is a fraction of and uh, oh, let's see HP. Two point four nine nine, two point four nine eight nine. So five point zero 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 one, and this is zero 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 two. Uh -huh. So that's point one microvolt off, <laughs> and it is nothing. And uh, seven point five and ten. And you just charge it with this uh, little, it, it, it looks like a USB-C, but it's not. This is a mini USB. And uh, when you, uh, let me do it the correct way. So, and it's red when it charges. I'm not sure if the light goes off and it finishes charging. I, I don't have it that long. And you can even use it while it's uh, charging. Uh, yeah, maybe because it has a battery, maybe it's not recommended. You probably have a more stable if you only use the batteries. But that uh, I didn't read anything about it, but that makes sense uh, to me. I will uh, carefully try to uh, open it. So uh, that was it, <laughs> quick and dirty uh, voltage reverence, uh, they look good, so uh, I can put the product links in the bottom and uh, for me it's also nice to know that uh, my voltage meters are good, so uh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.